Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. He's running into the into the water. Holy god. <laughs> Alright. Damn. And I thought these were supposed to be sluggish sleeping under rocks all day. I take them over here. So what we have here is a marbled salamander, and it's in the mole salamander family. And they mostly just sit under rocks all day or logs, and they're not really too active, but I guess when they see a pool like we're at right now, they'll try and jump in and swim in it. So mole salamanders, they can be found in the northern forests, and they live pretty much under logs, or they'll burrow into the ground, and they only come out usually after it rains or during the night time because they don't want to dry out in the sunlight. And they'll pretty much just eat bugs around here, so crickets, snails, earthworms, things like that. So these salamanders can externally look like lizards, but they're not actually reptiles, they're amphibians, like frogs. And the reason they look like this is because they split off of amphibians early on, and they retained this ancestral body plan. So all frogs and lizards and salamanders evolved from a basal tetrapod, which was an ancestor from lobe fin fishes like the coelacanth. And this primitive ancestor, when it first got on land, certain lineages split off of it and the salamander was one of them the salamanders didn't really change much since that time period so they still sort of just have this ancestral body plan what salamanders will do is they lay their eggs sort of in temporary pools similar to this one it's mostly in vernal pools and that means they're present in late winter and early spring and they dry up by the end of summer and when they lay their eggs the eggs need oxygen, so there's actually a symbiotic algae in salamander eggs which provides the embryo with the oxygen they need to develop. Salamanders are the only animals where there is a higher concentration of them in colder climates than warmer climates. And if you look at them, you can see they don't have scales, they just have this really soft skin and it's wet. And what they do is they breathe through lungs, but they also breathe through their skin. So their skin is really thin and there's a lot of blood vessels in there. And that sort of just serves as a respiratory organ. So the oxygen gets absorbed directly through their skin. And in order for that to happen, it needs to be kept moist. And so these salamanders will secrete mucus all over themselves to keep that skin moist so the membrane keeps working.